everybody, get ready for Late Night Home Comedy Night! Woo! What's up everybody, I'm your host Jordan Freed, and uh, you can remember my name because it's spelled like fried, and you are here at the Weed Man's Joint. Have you guys ever been here before at yeah. the joint? You yeah. have been here? Have you been to the comedy show before? No. Oh Not my here. gosh, this is going to be crazy then, oh my god. This is actually the first ever day that we're doing it without a PA system because these guys are very loud and they're going to be doing some improv for you tonight. So I figured for my stand-up set up front, I'd just talk to you guys like you guys are normal people out here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if, you, if you have weed right now, now is the time to definitely spark up because I'm like kind of funny, but if you're really high, then... Then I'm very funny. Um, this is actually my first time ever smoking weed. We're catching it on camera right now. <laughs> my first ever time smoking weed in the last 20 minutes. I uh, was looking at some real estate in the metaverse. <laughs> Have you guys gotten into this at all? You guys know a little bit about it? Yeah, you guys own some land? Uh, I heard I'm buying it. No, we don't own land, though. I, I was like, okay, you could fit this land into like little tiny, little tiny pieces of data, right? This this little tiny land data, that has to be like, what, like 10 bucks, like 20 bucks? No, it's like $300,000. $300, I know. That's like more than an actual house that you could live in. I can't even put... I, know, it's I can't even put this over my head to save me from the lightning that's going to strike me because I have this device that attracts. How's your Mercury retrograde going? Not Are we doing bad. good? No, yeah, is, your, is your life effed up yet? A little bit. Yeah, my, my no, life's pretty... Has it's a, a very significant day, that's what the star people tell me. I don't question the star people, I just, I take the advice. Yeah. Hello, welcome to, to Late Night Hump Comedy Night, it's hump night. There's chairs there, there's yeah, chairs there. They, don't take these chairs though. These are, these are the off-limit chairs. There will be two people who are allowed to sit in these chairs, but you're gonna have to guess who those people are at some point. So be ready out there for uh, some major butt action. I know that's why you guys came out to Late Night Hump Comedy Night, for some major butt action here at the <laughs> Weed Man's Joint. Sometimes people think I am the Weed Man. I'm not, I'm just at the joint. Like, I'm not I'm not claiming like some kind of uh, Weed Manship, no. I'm, I'm just a, uh, a contractor of the Weed Man Joint. I am not a Weed Man titular. <laughs> the titular weed man might walk through, he might not. Um, he's not your weed man, though. He's like a different... It's a, he's the titular weed man, you know? Um, well, you guys came to the right place if you're trying to buy weed from the titular weed man in all the other weed mans of the state. Um, I actually have an issue uh, with my weed. My weed, uh, it's a little too sticky. You know, like, I work with kids, and just the other day, like, I was teaching a class, and an entire ounce of weed fell off of my ass. <laughs> like, it just it fell on the floor, and I was like, what the, how did that get there? What, did one of you kids bring this in? How, how did that happen? Whoa, what is this? I'm gonna go throw this in the garbage. Yeah, my backpack is now the garbage kids. I don't, I don't know how this how this got here, but I realized later it was stuck to my ass the whole time, you know? Um, so now I get really dry weed. The dry weed is amazing. Uh, it just falls onto my joint paper, and then I smoke it, and it smokes like normal, and I don't run into any issues. I, uh, I do get high on the job sometimes. Not that job where I work with children, but I used to work at a farmer's market. You guys ever go to farmer's markets? I used to work for uh, a coffee roaster and I would like go into the porter potty bath bathroom to go take a puff of my vape pen. But I totally forgot 
that this man was a master roaster. The second I came back, he was like, oh, are you sick? And I was like, what? What, what, what are you talking about? Like, I just went to the bathroom. Like, I'm not sick or anything. And he was just like, oh, I can smell the strawberry cough drop that you just put in. And I was like, what? I didn't put it. Oh, this guy definitely knows I just got high. He's definitely, he's playing the, the stoner card where he knows I'm a stoner, but he's not going to say it, but he's going to say everything but the thing. I overlooked that he was a master roaster. Like, of course, he's going to smell my breath, like, from my esophagus and know exactly that I had strawberry cough. And I didn't even strawberry cough. You know? I just I just stood like normal. One time I uh, went to the grocery store and I accidentally picked up decaf coffee. But I didn't really have the energy to take it back. <laughs> so I decided to just drink it anyway, you know, for some sort of a placebo effect. It didn't really end up working. Hello, are you guys my event brights? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the brightest light, the event bright gotcha, light. Oh my gosh, welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Jordan Freed. Uh, buckled up uh, and sit down so that uh, you guys could get yourself fried. Uh, there's weed inside. I don't know if you've ever been here before. Have you already bought some pre-rolls? <laughs> okay, good. You're good. Uh, way better than uh, me explaining how you buy weed. <laughs> to a bunch of people who have bought weed before. It's like, yeah, it's actually a very fascinating process. Yeah, they, they have these things called strains now. Yeah. I just become like a 70-year-old weed man for you guys. Um, but enough about me. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring to the stage some very funny improvisers. Give it up for Vince and Brendan Improv. I think they have a name. I don't know what it is. Improv for you guys. So for those of you guys who have never seen or heard or even thought of the word improv, this is all made up. This show that you're seeing right here has never happened before. It'll never happen again. We literally have no idea what's going to happen None. over the course of the next 30 minutes. We're all in this together, guys. Yep. And for you at home, don't worry. We're yeah. watching you too. Yeah. We see you there. We got you people at home. So we're going to play. We're going to start off with some short form games. These are real, real easy for the audience and real uh, Easy for us as well. Yeah, I guess, baby. All right, so, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to start out with uh, a game called ABCs. Uh, it's a game where we're going to do a scene, and each line of the next part of the scene will be the next letter of the alphabet. And I'm dyslexic, so this <laughs> is a challenge game for me. Uh, <laughs> we need one word suggestion to get started. Can I get any, any word that's not a food? from you fellas. Basketball. That? Basketball. Basketball. Thank, Basketball. Thank you so much. All right, team, huddle up. <laughs> but but uh, I, I didn't bring my shoes. Coach Carl, where is the rest of the team? Uh, down, down, downstairs, down in the basement. Every time we make it to nationals, this always happens. The worst player on the team is the only one who shows up. Uh, but I got a heart of gold. I, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 everyone says I have a heart of gold. For sure. <laughs> G golly gee, you are a great <laughs> coach, Captain. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Right now, look, Carl. I know that you uh, you can't jump very high. I know that you're. You have webbed feet, yep. and I know that you have asthma in mm -hmm. three different places in your body, yep. okay? But I need you to take this one home for me. It's the only thing I have left in my life, Carl! <laughs> my only purpose is to do great in this basketball game. I'm going to prove you right, Coach, even if I'm shitty at the game. No. I don't trust you. Do push-ups now. Uh, p pardon me? Quit wasting time and get on the ground and do me push-ups. Do me push-ups. <laughs> sure. Two? That's all you got so far? <laughs> oh, no, that's it. That's it. That, uh, 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 right here on the ground, that's where I'm going to lay. 
so glad that you picked up basketball. To totally. <laughs> Under one condition is how you get out of this locker room alive. Wow! <laughs> Should I do? <laughs> Explain. I will. You see, I know that before you and you came in here, I was this angry basketball coach. You know, just about to rip you up to pieces because I'm unhappy with my personal life. But the truth is, I always wanted you to be in this position because I wanted someone weaker than me to fail in front of my eyes because that's what brings a basketball coach in middle school joy. Oh, zip zap! You're a bad coach. All for a game of basketball and scene. And scene. That was improv. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna do another game. It's called New Choice. I'm gonna need a. Little, you want a little sister? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to someone else. All right, so this game is called New Choice. We're gonna do a scene uh, about whatever, and anytime you want to see something different, just ring the bell. You want us to make and and, and I would recommend bringing it slow in the beginning. And then when you feel like it, just go, just go to town on it. Like, we'll do whatever the hell you want. Right? Okay. What were your names? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yaya? Yaya? Natalia. Natalia. Guys, give it up for Yaya and Natalia. Natalia. Alright, we need, we need a, a one word suggestion that isn't a food to get started. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a food. Maybe like a job or an like occupation, something? Chef. Chef, chef, right, chef, chef, chef. He did no food, but he picked the person who yeah. makes the food. That's yeah, I thought. Spot on. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Oh. Are you hungry? That's that's right. Yeah. I is the most expensive food critic in the city. I always make that noise when I walk into a restaurant. Well, oh. good thing I cook. I cook all my best because I knew you were coming tonight. Oh, I yeah. knew you were gonna come. I don't get to be the premier chef of New York City without preparing for you, you know? Oh. Mm. Well, oh, so you are Rodrigo de la Noza. Yes, the yes. The infamous chef. The infamous chef. Mm. The man who makes the world's greatest hot dogs. I make the best hot dogs. Nobody makes hot dogs like me. And just because you're a stingy little critic doesn't mean you're not going to like my hot dogs. You think I'm a stingy critic? Mm -hmm. You ain't seen nothing yet. Bring out the food. Bring out the women. Great. All right. Come on in, girls. Oh, Come so on in. Give, give him the lap dance. We gotta oh. prime him up before he gets his hot dog. Oh, done. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, no, now it's being used as a distraction. No. Get off of me, women. Come back to me, women. Oh, no, no, they're back again. Oh, God. Just tell me when you want the hot dog. All right, all right, all right, women, women, be cool, okay? The, the hot cool, dogs are coming. Chill. Ladies, get back in the kitchen. All right, I'll take the hot dogs now. I'm ready. All right. I am allergic to got two! <laughs> you gotta eat it. You gotta, you gotta suck it. That is the rule. That's how you that, eat hot dogs. That's, all right, you're right. That's how you eat hot dogs. In your off, restaurant, huh? Off of my hand, too. It's part of the process. All right, here it goes. Here it goes. regular old scene and someone from the audience we're gonna pick someone is gonna shout a genre it could be western romance comedy whatever and we'll change the scene to be that genre so um well we got from you guys last time so let's go back to these fellows again uh hey fellas can i get a one word that's not a food 
maybe like a location or a, a relationship you have with somebody, or maybe just a word that you heard at some point today. Lover. Mother. 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 Lover? Lover. What's Lover. the difference, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lover. Lover. And also, you're going to be our genre guy. So every now and then, just shout a genre. Yeah, well, actually, I'm going to start. Give it a bell. You have whenever you have a genre that you want to take to, ring that bell, shout out to the single story whatever you want. Cool. They got it, man. We're good. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right. All right. So, Lover. 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 Who? Who do you love? I, I love you. Right, you do. I, I, yeah, I love you. Now pick my hair up and get back to brushing. Okay, okay. Sci-fi. Uh, all right, I'm gonna use this laser to cut off the rest of your hair. All right, that's what you 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 you, you want it. You want it. I am your robot wife. Okay, I am not imperfect like you, stupid human. Whatever you say, darling. Whatever you say. <laughs> Oh wow, you look so great! Oh my goodness, you're you're the most beautiful robot this side of Venus. Just this side of Venus? I, the, the whole solar system, the whole solar system. You're the most beautiful robot in the entire solar system. You're the most... Comedy. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I? <laughs> you're, you're, so, you're so funny and cute. Shut up, you're below me. Hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Okay, that's enough. Okay, okay, okay. That's not cool. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, listen, uh, I got some bad news. What's that, wife? My parents are coming over later. Oh, not my in-laws. That's right, the in-laws. Oh, no. I, I, I love my, my mystery. Mystery. That's right. In fact, <laughs> we lost them. We lost your in-laws. Yes. Where are we going to find them? That is always the question that I thought you would ask. However, I should let you know, my parents are already here, in this room right now. By God, I, I, I don't even see them. I, I, right. They're under the floor. My parents. Is, is that why you were digging today, honey? That's right, I was. Also, it reminds me that one day you'll be dead and then I get to bury your body. You're going to kill me just like you killed my parents? No. Time will kill you. I get to just watch as it happens. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. That's right. Hey, hey guess who's here? It's the divorce papers. Oh, <laughs> she's got <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide from litigation. <laughs> you're going to get to your parents. Oh, there you are. You're under the floorboard. Oh. Ah, here's Wifey. Oh. Outside, 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 outside! Outside, outside! Here, sign it. Uh, uh. And see. That's it, cool. Cool, thank you. Thank, thank you, so guys. Much. All right, we'll just take the bell back. All that, based on a true story. That all really happened. Yes. In a lot of homes across America. I married a robot. Right. All right, so our final thing we're going to do for you guys is called a montage. We're basically going to do a bunch of random shit for like 15 minutes. You guys will be along for the ride. Yes. Uh, so, so for some uh, inspiration for these scenes, uh, Yaya and Natalia, uh, can you tell me uh, someone that you talked to on the phone recently, in a relationship with someone you talked to on the phone recently? Your best friend? Cool. Are right, you best friend? And then uh, I got to the back. Uh, what is uh, what, what is a job that you wanted to be when you were little? One. NBA coach. Okay. What was it? Uh, NBA coach. NBA coach. Okay, cool. We got best friend. Best friend. NBA coach. And, uh, hey, Jordan, what kind of food you have today? I had a coffee. Coffee. Oh, coffee. Okay. coffee. Best, best friend. friend. NBA coach. Coffee, best friend, NBA coach. Alright, so what kind of food you have today? Wow, we made it. Yeah. You know. I knew when we first became friends back in fifth grade, I knew that we'd be best friends forever, but I did not know that it would culminate in a road trip like this. Road trip! Woo! Look at that Grand Canyon. Yeah, it's really big. It's really big. Yeah. It's really big. Yeah. Wow. You should, you should, you should jump down there. The fuck, Kelly? You should, you should dump, you should jump down there. Okay, give, give me one good reason why. I will be cool. Kelly, look, friends don't tell other 
friends that jump down holes, okay? No matter how big they are. But it'll be like legendary. I mean, come on, we'll go back home, we'll be like, hey, he jumped into the Grand Canyon. Hold on, <laughs> Christina. Is this because, is this because Christina, just like, she just moved to our school and you already like her better than you like me? Is that what this is about? No, I've liked you since fifth grade. You've been funny. You already, already established that. Yeah. I, just because I want to impress Christina with your cool acrobats of death doesn't. doesn't once. Oh, really? Because last week in the playground, Christina was like, ha, hey, Kelly, why don't you push her down a hole, maybe the Grand Canyon? And then everyone laughed like it was a joke. But now that we're here, I don't think it was a joke. No, it's totally, it's totally a joke. You're lying to me. It's totally... I can tell you you're lying. I'm your best friend, remember? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. All right, so you want to be a coach in the NBA, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think I got what it takes to, to teach people how to play basketball. Ah, uh, yes. But you have what it takes to take off your suit jacket and throw it on the ground in anger? Oh. 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 Do I? Ever. That's a bullshit play. How did I do? How did I do? Uh, 5.5 out of 10. Oh, come on. I had my soul into this. All right. Now, listen. Do you have the ability to mouth dirty words that, even though we can't hear you saying them, we, the viewer at home watching it on ESPN, can tell that you are saying dirty words? What do you think? Hmm, looks like you said butt fucker, but... <laughs> Maybe I did. Maybe yeah. I didn't. You wouldn't know. Yeah, well, I do know that you're going to get a... Four out of ten on that one. Four Enunciate, motherfucker! Four out of ten, that's a bullshit call, ref! That's a bullshit call! I'm sorry, what was it? That's a bullshit call, ref! I don't ref. give a fuck, I don't really respect you at all! I'm gonna walk away! I got black and white stripes on! Hey, hey, hey! I, I also slept with your high school girlfriend! What the fuck? <laughs> that's what right. the fuck? Yo, that, that this is... This is it. Yeah. This is it. It's what? What? What's this it? Is it? What's it? Huh? This what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What are you thinking out for an audition? Ten out of ten. Yeah, got the job. <laughs> oh, jeez, the last bag, the last bag of coffee is is out of both of our reach. Uh. We can't possibly get the master roaster in here. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta handle this ourselves. I know. I was, I was puffing the vape pen before, and the master roaster totally exposed me already. You so. got high on the, on the, on the coffee job. I was trying to, yeah. Oh no. I was trying to counteract the, 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 the massive energy I got from the coffee and the massive wanting to go to sleep and eat a snack I got with smoking weed. Oh my god, are we gonna get fired? Yeah. Are we gonna get fired because of this? Yeah, because uh, surprise, you're also high too. You? That wasn't a brownie? No, that was not a brownie. That wasn't a regular brownie? Yeah, right, it, was, it was a brownie, but it wasn't just a regular brownie, yeah. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, so dude, if we don't get that coffee in our bodies, then the next, I would say probably like two and a half minutes, maybe maybe shorter than that, if this doesn't go that well. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna fall asleep right here on the job. Oh, hey. Why is stretching for it not working? Wait, 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 maybe we should, like, just move the chairs a little closer. Oh, oh God, you're so wait, smart. Wait, we totally are. Okay, okay, there we go. I got the coffee. Okay, okay great. I got the coffee. Okay, All right, okay. Okay. now we gotta put it into the machine. Okay. What do you... Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, oh, you don't have to be, like, that close. Sorry, sorry, I just, like, I didn't know where I was for a second. What? You okay? Yeah. Come on, Fox is taking memory. It's the week of weeks. It's just ready to kick in. Oh, jeez, did, did you didn't grind the beans? Just put the beans right in the coffee. No, I didn't. No, I did. I grinded oh. with the dessert. Oh. That was the, the oh. coffee. Sorry, I thought that was my existential dread yeah. acting up again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get the filter. I gotta get the. Can you grab me a pitcher of water? Oh, oh hold no. Hold on, oh, the, the edible is kicking in. Oh. Oh, I gotta get you some coffee quick. Oh. Just take a nap. I'll get the filter. I'm reaching for it. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, oh, it. Oh, no, 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 you're not falling, you're okay. Go on without me. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, All right, oh, I got it. Oh, 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 wait. All right, it's percolating. We gotta wait in like five, five to ten minutes. You know what, we need to, we need to, we need to make it go faster. I read that if you, if you 
sink to the percolation, it'll become coffee faster. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And then Jesus has to do with wine. Oh, coffee percolates faster. Oh, it's done. <laughs> now the hard part, getting it in our bodies. Oh, the animal's kicking it up for me too. You do 
a lot of that. We do a lot of work, actually. What? There's work to be done? Yes, Captain. Every time we're like, all right, guys, let's all get together. Let's do our chores. You literally just always go like this. You just turn and look, and you stare out at the sky yeah. until dinner time. Wow. Do that every day, Captain. I, I thought everything just got done because I'm a fantastic leader. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, Captain. Oh. Well, hey, so maybe, maybe we found your problem. Maybe if you helped out with some cleaning or some other chores. Cleaning? No, that's for the sailors. I'm the captain. Right, but don't you want to not be suicidal? Ah, what the hell, I'll swap the poop down. There we go. All right, I have like, I have like three more bedrooms to clean, and then I think we can leave this apartment complex. For good? Um, till next week. And then, oh God, Come back and act like everything's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you're in a hotel. You clean the room, you act like those people weren't there anymore, you know. So we're just supposed to forget about Tom and Stephanie who are celebrating their 12th year wedding anniversary, even though we greeted them, needed them, and then we ha we desheeted their bed. Connor, you can't get too attached to customers, you know. You can't, you can't get. You just gotta. We work in a hotel. You just have to clean the rooms, fix the sheets. You can't, you can't be obsessed with everyone that comes through this door. I can hear them talking to me. It's like they never left to begin with. Oh my God, are you okay? I, I, have, I have attachment issues. I know, I know. The other day you were, you were so heartbroken about about uh, Jamie being fired. It was, it was really heartbreaking. The way you felt for those people. I know. And the other day I went to one of the rooms and they had a do not disturb sign on the door. And I was like, is that for me? You, you really shouldn't take that personally. I did take it personally, they were okay? They probably having sex. They're you implying that I was disturbing them at some point, yes, okay? you wouldn't be disturbing them if you walked in when they were having sex and you said, cleaning service, you know, that'd be bad. That'd be bad. You would definitely get oh, bad. Oh, really? Because I feel like if I was having sex and all of a sudden I like woke up and then everything was clean, I'd be like, wow, double awesome. You wake, clean and sex. Wake up? Are you like asleep during sex? No, I'm <laughs> What do you mean, wake up? That's very problematic. Are you okay? No, 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 no. I'm not okay. You're not I'm, okay. I'm not okay. I know you're not okay. No, no, no. But just clean the room. All right. Uh, why? Why aren't you okay? What happened? Oh, oh! Thanks for finally asking. He's probably coming around. I'm sorry. I just, I, I want to understand what's wrong. I'm just so freaked out. So I'm actually technically still asleep right now. I'm what they call one of these life sleepers. Life sleepers? Yeah, you know, you know how people fall asleep like standing up and they fall asleep with their eyes open? I fall asleep awake. Wow, you know, you're not, yeah, yeah, I, I have heard of that. My brother, my brother is a life sleeper. Never, one day in his life has he been awake. Yeah, it's true, so yeah, so, I think that's part of the reason why I get so attached, you know, because I feel like when these people in their beds, they lay down, they go to sleep, I think, wow, for the first time, we're all sleeping. That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> hey, they stick me in the movies. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, last one was super dramatic. Yeah, 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 you know, it was a drama. Yeah. It was a drama. Yeah. You know, I, this is our third date, and I thought, I thought maybe we should do something special. Okay. Yeah, holding hands is part of it. Uh-huh. That one. Mwah, I wanted to give you a kiss on the hand. Okay. 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 Anyway, so it's our third day, right? Yeah. And I was just thinking maybe it's time that we uh, take our relationship to the next level. Ooh, you want to go to the arcade? Is that is that what you mean by the next level? That's exactly what I was fucking mean. Yeah! We cut to the arcade. You want to fuck? One more time. One more time. If I have to tell you one more time, I'm going to kick you out of this fucking house. Bad, 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 bad. He's your son. Uh oh. Oh! Yeah, he's your son. Wow, what a classic original line you always don't go to! Get back in your fucking cage! No, you get back in your cage! You heard me. I don't know if he's talking to like that. My house! 
Well, I would have to fucking chill like that in my house! Bad! 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 Put the spoon down! Why are we always having Friday nights like this? Because... Because... Because you always order pizza, and it's always the... We live in New Jersey! Stop ordering Domino's! It's delicious and it's consistent! It's not pizza! I don't like your definition of pizza! Pizza! Bad! Bad! Put down the knife! Put down the knife! Good! Bad! Good! That kid is everywhere! He's off the fucking walls when he eats Domino's! Well, you're off the fucking wall when you eat anything! What the? What does that mean? You're always so cranky all the time, and then you finally get food in your belly, and somehow you get crankier! I want a divorce. I want two divorces! I brought the hose. Oh, good, good, good. The gardening club really needs it. Wow, I can really hear the water flowing. I know, it's, it's, it's great. Oh, oh man. So, how many, uh, how many pepper plants do you think you're going to harvest this season, Tyler? Mm, negative two. Negative two? Yeah. You, you killed them all? Uh-huh, and then some. Wow. So, how's your dad? I'm just kidding. He's dead. <laughs> How's your dad? He's, he's dead too. Oh, okay. <laughs> just where he just, left just him. like, just, just like, like the, just plant. like the plants. Yeah. What did I say? Peppers? Just like the peppers. Hey, this is gonna sound really crazy. But I think we've already, we've already crossed a crazy bridge, so yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. go for it. Right? Okay, go for it. Go for it. Do you ever like? Are you ever like jealous? Like, do you ever? I do. I ever wish I was dead. Yeah, you're like, oh man, so the, many pros to death. The only pro to death I feel like is sleeping eternally. Oh, sleeping. Watch pizza, right? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you got my pizza. It's okay. It's okay. So the abrovites look better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, the only pro to death. That you're the only pro to death is probably just sleeping forever, right? Because sleeping is wonderful. Yeah. And then sleeping indefinitely doesn't sound bad. Doesn't sound bad to me. Yeah. At least. Yeah. And you need to be remarketed. You know? Yeah, we gotta yeah. remarket death. Not death. Permanent napping. Right, you know, we need a PR campaign for, for napping. There have been PR campaigns for, you know, you know seatbelts and vaccines or whatever, but you know what we really need? We need a PR campaign for, for death. People need to think more positively about the next life. You're right, we cut to the boardroom. All right, so uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your pitch about why we need to make uh, death a more accessible, fun option for people. Okay, we got it. We got a new slogan here. Mm -hmm. It's 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 uh, uh, sleep now, sleep forever. Death is for you. Death is for everyone. Uh huh. Okay. A little right. wordy. A little wordy, but I think we can workshop it. I like it. I like it. There's a lot of good here. Now, who's the uh, the celebrity that we're gonna get to? Oh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt people Damon. People love Matt yeah, Damon. He did, all the, he did the Bitcoin one, yeah. so we should get him for the death and, one. And there's nothing more fun about like saying this phrase in a fast accent too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Death is not for you. It's for everyone. It's crazy. It's like JFK is saying it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I know. It's just been yeah. <laughs> now, all right. Now, now, hear me out. This could be like my capitalist brain spinning here now. Okay, but okay, okay. what do you say that? In order for this time for this program, we also throw in okay. a phrase, a free sleepies Serta mattress. Yo, that's a great idea. Don't die anywhere. Die, die here. here on a sleepies mattress. mattress. Exactly. And well, I mean, the only the only roadblock I see. Mm -hmm. I love your idea. I, know, I, I love your idea. I'm looking for counter idea. Counter idea. They only be able to buy one. 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 Because they be dead. Right. Right. We right. need. We need. We need a free market. We need. We need. We need more people buying mattresses. Even after their death. Do I hear family plans? Family, family death plans. plans. That's right. Death plans. Get mattresses for your family to all die on anytime you want. I'm going to call Matt Damon right now. <laughs>
I'm painting my apartment. Yeah, Jason was like, I'm gonna be a different guy in a different incarnation of the show and be called Rocky. And, and Tanya was just eating dinner. She, like, they texted me back, but they make it seem like it's not urgent. Alright. I might be a little out of line here. Are we, like, the only com people committed to being Power Rangers? I think though? we are the only committed Power Rangers. I mean, this whole group, this whole group has totally fallen out of fallen out of consistency. Yeah, it's like know? Mighty Morphin? I don't think so. No. Not a lot of either of those things happening. No, like, when we Mighty Morph, it's just left leg, right arm. That we can't connect. We can't become the big robot. The other day, you know what Tommy Morph did? He morphed into a fucking bag of potato chips. Yeah, because right? he's a lazy little shit. Yeah, and like, Grant, I love potato chips, but not when there's a fucking, there's a, uh, there's a lot of things we got fight off. Yeah, I know we Most have, of them, like, 200 times the size of us. They're way too big, and we can't just be like, left leg, right arm, and that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Maybe we can. Oh we're my god. Yo, you never tried it before. Hey. Hey. Is it Morphin Time? Mighty Morphin Time! Yeah! Shape of arm! Shape of right leg! Whoa! Oh. All right. All right, let's, let's go save the sponsor. city! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Back at that! Kill the fucking Godzilla! I can't! I only have one arm! I went to beat him with the, the, my ass! Damn, oh, damn, damn. My ass is your arm! All right, well, we'll keep alternating! <laughs> Go, go, Power Rangers! Let's see! Thank you, thank you very much. I'm Vincent. I'm Brendan. And this is... Vincent Bakers! Wow, that's our name now. Yeah, that's our name, thank you. And give it up for your host, Jordan. Oh, shit, shit. And give it up for your host, Jordan. Keep it going for them! Give it up for your host, Jordan Freed! He got, over there, he got both chairs. Like, wild how they have these like big ass games in a place where they sell mushrooms as well. <laughs> like how are you gonna know that somebody's not tripping already when it's just like, whoa. When did the Connect Four board get so big? <laughs> Shit, I don't remember it being that big. But then again, I was a child, so it did feel a little large. A little bit large. If you play a big Connect Four game, does that make you a bigger loser? <laughs> I think I think so on my my end for sure. Is anybody on mushrooms out there right now? No. Okay. Good. Well, I'm going to. You know, I always think about it on a Wednesday. And it looks like maybe maybe not on a normal day when everybody else is being normal. I got work in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It's nice when you do it at a music festival where like. People expect you to be on drugs. I did it on like a really random like Thursday at 10 a.m. once and just had a very bad experience and just like had to be like the people in their morning jog like, hey, I'm on shrooms right now. Like, <laughs> can you just order me an Uber right now? I learned a very valuable lesson. Like, don't be on the bike path. <laughs> and don't be like in the car path next to the bike path. <laughs> It's like when mushrooms were invented by God, there, there weren't cars, you know? So you shouldn't be around things that didn't really exist when it was invented. Because <laughs> then you're gonna run into some, some issues. Uh, when I was a kid, I always wanted a studio apartment because I thought that that's like the ultimate artist living. Like I finally get to live in the studio. Like I am an artist. And then I just realized that artists can't afford apartments. <laughs> uh, anybody uh, sports gambling? Anybody get into that? We know someone, but we don't. <laughs> it's wild. I think like once they started having the crypto ads with the the sports gambling ads, they were like, oh, we have to like let it happen anyway because like. Otherwise, they're gonna give all their money to these stupid coins. You know, this could be like the DraftKings mafia money right now. And we're just missing out on it because we're not legalizing gambling. Um, but these crypto people, they're just like anti-legalization. They're just like, keep the crypto out of being legalized. Like, don't legalize. I think that's generally how drug people are as well. They don't want it legalized. It's 
gonna put our drug dealers out of business. You know, we're job creators. <laughs> I'm not a drug user, I'm a job creator. <laughs> I buy drugs from people, so I'm creating jobs. How's it going? This is Late Night Hump Comedy Night. How you doing? Thanks for coming by. There's, there's some seats there if you'd like to pop a nice little squat. Anybody have weird dietary restrictions? Nope. Nah. I'm vegan, except for the culture, you know? Like, like if somebody hands me something and they say my people eat this, then like, I'm not gonna be like, I'm a vegan. I'm just gonna munch it down, you know? For the culture, even if it kills me. For the culture, you know? Um, but I got some tips for people, you know, who wanna make their vegan food taste more like animal products. Cause like, I know we're all wimps, you know? We wanna eat the flesh of animals, right? You guys want some flesh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like, so so you guys want eggs, right? You guys miss eggs. The taste of eggs, but you're a vegan. So I'm gonna give you a solution. You're gonna get a block of tofu, right? And you're gonna sprinkle a bunch of sulfur salt onto the egg, onto the tofu egg. And then think about this: when you have normal eggs. You don't get to choose how much it tastes like eggs, right? <laughs> but when you have tofu, you can just keep pouring on the sulfur, you know? It's delicious, and you're just like, oh yeah, egg and cheese, yeah, like omelet, hell yeah. And then you just have like a massive stack of sulfur, and you're just like eating it off of your tofu block. <laughs> um, it's like, you could cook your tofu, but like, sometimes I have it cold to simulate like, a McDonald's sandwich the next day, you know? Because, <laughs> like, you guys miss the meat and cheese, right? Uh, I got another one for you, right? Uh, if you want your tofu to taste uh, like chicken, all you have to do is press it. Are you actually organic? <laughs> Where are you farmed? <laughs> you need to tell me now! <laughs> and then all the liquids have, like, went out of it. And it tastes exactly like chicken, you know? Once you press the tofu, it's chicken. Uh, I also like to eat uh, mushrooms because you can find them on the side of the road. Anybody forage out here? Yo, you can really find some really interesting mushrooms if you don't mind liver failure. You know? No, but seriously, like, I'm actually a vegan fugitive right now. <laughs> I went to a state park and like posted that I, I got these little ramps. You guys know what ramps are? They're like this grass that tastes like garlic. You guys know what that is? Yo, you can get them anywhere, like Garden State. You know, mm -hmm. you can get it anywhere. So I like posted like, oh, look at these like garlic grass things that I got. And then the state park wrote, this is against the law. Article 7.2 says that you cannot take any goods off of public lands. So, uh, you guys have a good lawyer. Uh, hit me up after this. Uh, just in case I have to. They, they always convict the ecological terrorists, right? They never can convict the real terrorists. They just get the guys who, like, kill the, who protect the trees. They just, like, create life and they're just like, get out of here, man. <laughs> sit in your box for 40 years and see if you want to protest then. Um, but enough about that. Um, I went shopping for some clothes the other day and I, I noticed that they didn't have any men's size zero. You know, like, what's up with that? Mm -hmm. Like, are we just too fragile? <laughs> you can't call me a zero without me getting offended? It's like, women are all like, I, I want to be a zero. Like, that would be sick. Yeah, no. Like, men are like, I want to be a 40. <laughs> yeah, like, that's a real size. <laughs> I'm off the charts now. <laughs> this is great. I was at a bar the other day. Have you guys ever been in a bar with a breathalyzer? No. no. It was legit like a barcade. Like you could just like put in the the dollar and play the breathalyzer game. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, 
I, I wasn't gonna drink that night because I'm, I'm normally a smoker, as you guys can see from this. But you know, I had to get super drunk just to like test it. <laughs> had to start with six beers, then let it go down a little bit. See if it would go down. Go two beers up, then let it go down a little bit. You know, wait. 12 hours, fall asleep behind the bar so that nobody knows I'm there. Wake up, see if I'm sober yet. I'm not sober yet, let's do it again. Oops, didn't have any water, just drank another beer. Had to wait another two hours. And now I've spent all my life savings. So uh, if you guys have some money for me, uh, you can throw it in this tip pot over here. <laughs> it's not actually a tip pot, you know? Um, it's just a place that you could tip pot. Because <laughs> there are pot leaves in there. So if you want to tip pot in the tip pot, uh, I don't know, does money make good soil and fertilizer? I don't think we've burnt it all down yet, right? You know? Anybody a socialist out here? <laughs> you got some socialists out here? Yeah, I'm usually down with the socialism. But like I have friends who are just like, oh, like money doesn't even exist. Like money's not even real. It's just like a made up thing. And I'm like, okay, if that's true, then just give me it. Like, you know, like if it's all just made up, why, why aren't you just putting it in my hand? Right now? I don't get it. I was using the ATM the other day, and as I was taking out money, uh, never mind. I don't want to tell that joke anymore. It's going to incriminate me on the camera. <laughs> Sorry, there's a live feed. You guys think this show is for you? This is for America. <laughs> and Trent. <laughs> it's like both at the same time. <laughs> this is the first city, right? Did you say that? Yeah. We have a historian over here as well. That's part of the show. <laughs> we have a Trent historian. You've never been to a comedy show with a historian, right? <laughs> It's like a museum that you can get high at. <laughs> it's pretty good. You can find out what was growing here before we put down the mulch. Um, <laughs> I was driving over here, and I had like three or four separate birds shit on my car. And I was so pissed at them. But then I realized that I was destroying their home. I like driving the gas car and coming out to trend to do this. So I was like, yeah, shit on my car a little bit, you know? I probably deserve this, you know? If you came into my house and like destroyed my home, I would probably shit on you too. That's just something to be aware about if you're on the uh, live stream right now. Don't come into my house unexpected because I will shit on you. <laughs> yes, I have a bathroom, but. I prefer to shit on organic materials. Um, I actually uh, bathe and shit 12 hours a day. Um, you know, because magic mushrooms, they grow in cow shit. So I'm trying to get the magical properties. It's really nice. I actually grew up in a farm town. Where did you guys grow up? Did you guys grow up here or did you guys grow up somewhere else? Somewhere else? I grew up in a farm town. And like growing up, the first day, every single spring, it would smell like shit. It was just like hot manure that would come out from like under the snow every year. But like two years ago, they just started growing weed everywhere in my hometown. And now everybody's complaining that it smells like weed. It's like, what the fuck? You guys were okay with shit for like 20 years. <laughs> And now you're like, oh, it smells like skunk. No, it doesn't smell like skunk. It smells like lemons and cherries. It smells like the fruit that you can't actually grow in Warwick. You can grow apples, though, and there are no weed apple strains. Yet. Look that up, though. Maybe you'll make some weed apple strains. Um, some apple Jack Herrer. Ah, oh, I am a man who smokes weed. I just knew, knew a strain right there. I actually planted all of these. No, I did, I did not plant these. I wish I could plant something. Um, my ex actually, she she went away and she wanted me to like 
water her plants. And I just let all of them die. Like, I watered them, but they all died. And that was kind of just the metaphor for the relationship. <laughs> you know, it kind of just wilted, I guess. Um, man. You guys hear that we all have microplastics in us? Yeah. 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 All of us, every single one of us have microplastics in us. Yeah, yeah, from like the water supply and fast food and stuff like that coming off everything. But I'm superior to all of you guys because I have macro plastics in me. <laughs> I've got full water bottles just like etched <laughs> in my esophagus. It's like literally like a tubed water bottle. That's how I plan to drink in the future. They're gonna have to like remove it. Uh, the microplastics that melt it together in my, my uh, intestines. And then uh, once I take them out, I'm gonna have like a little bomb, like a plastic <laughs> bomb, you know? It's not gonna be worth that much because it's not a glass bomb, you know? But like it was made for my intestines. <laughs> so that's like very, very hardcore, you know? When was the last time you guys smoked out of intestines? <laughs> I don't know. You guys have smoked out of an apple before, but you've never smoked out of intestines. You smoked out of intestines? No, an no, apple. apple. <laughs> an apple. <laughs> they just discontinued the uh, the iPod, so you can't smoke out of an iPod anymore. <laughs> That's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> I talked a little bit about my hometown. My hometown had a lot of prestigious people who lived there. There's this one guy who was a really uh, prestigious sports journalist. He was like super athletic, but only in his hands. <laughs> I was uh, driving on the way here and I saw a strip mall and I saw a sign that said curiosity shop so like I parked to go check it out but the place was closed or was it it's the titular weed man everybody Woo! the guy you saw in the, the sign <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Sorry. Just popping out, see what's going on. No, yeah, you're popping out. No, I just, just wanted to give the people what they want. <laughs> now you guys could officially say you smoked with Weed Man because he walked out. <laughs> just say. No. This, this is the time to take the selfie, you know? <laughs> don't get don't get too close, though. That was just good. Uh, I was actually, my best idea for it was I was saying you should do it like apple picking. You should have people doing bud picking here. You could charge like $500 an eight. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a good deal. People would do it if they came from like Westchester, New York or something like that. <laughs> they were like really excited about the weed tourism you had out here. I think people would be about it. All right, guys. Well, this has been a very fun late night hump. I appreciate you all for coming out tonight. Uh, we're here every first, second, and third hump day of the month here at NJ Weedman's joint. This week it was improv. Give it up for Vince and Brendan. What was your improv name again? Uh, the Rancid Baker. Rancid Baker, everybody. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I was Jordan Free, and yeah, this was fun. Uh, smoke some more weed. We love you all. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah. Did you really trip over those chairs? Oh, no, no, that was a bit. <laughs>